In today's tutorial video, we are going to discuss how to read the electrical wiring diagram of a machine. Reading an electrical diagram is really important for the automation, control and commissioning engineers to understand how the input and output field devices are connected to the controllers. Electrical wiring diagram shows how the PLC controller and field level instruments sensors, transmitter, VFDs, and motors are wired together. Having the understanding of how to read electrical wiring diagram is really important to troubleshoot the machine. In today's tutorial, we will try to learn how to read the electrical wiring diagram using a real-world example. For example, if we have a motor installed in the machine and if you look closer, we have a tag attached to the cable of the motor with M142 mentioned on it. Now question here is that where this cable is connected in the machine electrical panel and how does the PLC is controlling this motor? For this, we need to understand how to read the electrical diagram. If we see the sheet of the electrical wiring diagram, every sheet has a unique number mentioned on the right bottom corner of the page. So all sheets in the electrical diagram has a unique number just like any normal book. Next thing you can see at the top of the sheet. This sheet is divided into some vertical columns. Starting from column number 0 all the way up to column number 9. Same way if you look at the left side of the sheet, this sheet is divided into some rows horizontally. Starting from A, B, C and up to F. These rows and columns together make a grid on the sheet. This grid makes it easier to locate objects on this sheet. Now we have some basic information about the electrical diagram sheet. Next very important thing is that all field devices, wiring, controllers, power supplies will be mentioned or represented on this sheet in the form of symbols. So, before going into electrical wiring diagram, we should know the basic symbols of the electrical devices like push buttons, contactors, power supply and the motors. Normally, in every electrical diagram, at the end of the drawing, there will be few sheets showing all the items and the devices used in the project along with their symbols. So you can scroll down the sheets and have a look on these symbols. On this sheet, you can see that the symbols of the DC power supply, power isolation switch, motor and VFD etc. Coming back to the today's example, as we have seen previously the motor tag, this motor tag have a number M142 on it. We will see now how we can trace back the wiring of this motor. Now we know that the tag number of this motor is M142. But where is this motor on the electrical diagram? How we can find out this motor on this electrical diagram that consists of several pages? If you see the tag number is 142, the first two digits are referring to the sheet number. So this means that this motor is on the page number 14. The third number refers to the column number. This means that we have to look in the column number 2 of the page 14. If you see the column 2 of the sheet 14, here you can find the motor symbol with tag M142. As you can see that this motor is a three-phase motor and its wires are connected to the terminal strip inside the electrical panel. You can see that the three wires U142, V142 and W142 are connected at U, V and W output terminals of the VFT. So this motor M142 is driven by Omron VFD 
and VFD tag is U141. Next, if you look at the top of the sheet, here you will see three lines. These three lines are the symbol for the three phase power supply. From here, the three phase power is fed into the QF142 breaker. The QF142 is a three phase breaker with thermal overload protection. In this breaker QF142 case, you can see that the first two digits of the tag are 14. So this breaker is at the sheet 14 and the last digit is 2 means that this breaker is in the column number 2 of the sheet 14. From the output of the breaker QF142, three wires are connected to the power input terminals of the VFD. VFDs normally requires a run command signal from the PLC to turn on the motor. The S1 is a digital input terminal of the VFD. This terminal receives a run command signal from the PLC. If you see closely, this signal is coming from the normal open contact of the relay KA396. Mostly, if any tag starts from the KA, this means that this is a relay or a small control contactor. To find out this relay, we have to see the first two digits of the tag KA396. Yes, you guess it right. We will go to the sheet number 3939 and we have to look in the column number 6. Let's go to the sheet number 39. This is the KA396 symbol for this relay coil. It looks like a rectangular box. You can see that one end of the coil is connected to the zero volts line and the other end of the coil is connected to the number 7 terminal of the PLC output card. Number 7 terminal is the A05 output of the PLC and it is mentioned here as glue pump start command. So now we know that the motor M142 runs through a VFD with tag U141 and its VFD gets the run command signal from the PLC via relay KA396 and this relay is turned on by the PLC digital output A0.5. Next we will come back to the sheet number 14. We know that the VFT gets a analog speed reference signal from the PLC to control the RPM of the motor. VFD have two wires connected at FC and FR terminals. These terminals are the analog input of the VFD. If you see the drawing, these two wires have tag 5210 and 5211. And these wires or lines have an arrow symbol at the starting point. 52.2 and 52.3 is mentioned near to these arrows. What does this mean? This means that these wires are coming from the sheet number 52. So we will go to the sheet number 52 and here you can see that the wires 5210 and 5211 are connected to the analog output of the PLC. The brown wire 5210 is connected at the terminal 11 and 12 and the blue wire is connected at the terminal 13 and 14. If you look closely, PAW276 is mentioned above these terminals which is the analog output address in the PLC program handling this particular analog output signal. So this is how to read the electrical wiring diagram. I hope now you have some basic information about how to read these diagrams. I hope you liked today's tutorial. Please do share, like and subscribe this channel. And till next video, take care and goodbye.